Greetings, friends, and welcome to Beast Foundry. I wanted to make this video to kick off the launch of our YouTube channel, uh, explain a little bit of who I am and what Beast Foundry is. Beast Foundry is uh, basically we are creating a campaign setting for Pathfinder 2nd Edition, the world of Chandara. In so doing, we are making unique ancestries, unique archetypes, monsters, uh, adding additional new rules, fun stuff with familiars, new crafting ideas, uh, incorporating monsters, uh, something uh, kind of akin to what the Battle Zoo Bestiary is doing. They're doing some <laughs> wonderful work. If you haven't actually seen that yet, it's really cool. But I've been uh, playing role-playing games for most of my life. I've been DMing games for about 30 years now. I got started in AD&D 2nd Edition. Uh, I've played Basic and all of the predecessors. I've played 3rd Edition 3.5. I actually worked with Wizards of the Coast doing some playtesting on 4th Edition for about 7 years, if I recall. Um, after 4th Edition kind of gave way into 5th Edition, I moved over to the Pathfinder side of things, and I picked up with Pathfinder 1st Edition, and now that 2nd Edition has come out, I'm really enjoying it. It's probably my favorite of the fantasy genres of tabletop role-playing games. I, of course, have played tons of other games, uh, every rendition of Star Wars, West End games, the D20, Wizards of the Coast, Fantasy Flight games. So... I've played a fair number of that. I've done some GURPS, Mutants and Masterminds, Shadowrun, a little bit of Vampire. Uh, so I, I've played a fair number of role-playing games over the years. So I do have a little bit of experience under my belt on this matter. But uh, Beast Foundry got started uh, pretty much back in 3rd edition when I had my own little section of Forgotten Realms that... I played with and ran games for all my friends, and we kind of just played in our own little area that we made up, but had the rest of the world that we had access to. As we got older and more ambitious, that little section actually turned into an entire world. So this, is, this world has been in development for about two decades, if I'm honest. Uh, second edition really brought up a, a very cool rule set, and... I was really inspired by it, honestly. It was the first one I felt that did a amazing job at bridging the gap between marshals and spellcasters and really brought everything together in a cohesive manner that ultimately promoted teamwork. It wasn't a one-man band that each character had to, you could do everything, and some people, uh, if they weren't very good at playing, eh, they got kind of left out, and others that really dived into this they were powerhouses that couldn't be defeated pathfinder 2 did away with a lot of that and they did a really awesome job with it you'll you'll often hear that the the math is tight in pathfinder 2 which is true it's very very good and that's important in just keeping the balance of everything because if your first level character needs a 12 or higher to hit on the die for making their attack against creatures probably you're going to need a 12 or higher on the die when you're 8th level or when you're 15th level they keep a, a relatively good amount of consistency through the game as you level up which is really cool you don't feel some levels are more fun than others because the the challenge level changes so drastically so that's why i ended up migrating purely over to pathfinder second edition now, about a year ago, I launched the Beast Foundry website. I have just a few things on there. I've been doing a blog, uh, developing the world a little bit. A lot of information is now available uh, via my Patreon. There is dozens of monsters, some archetypes, uh, ancestries. I'm currently also involved with the Roll for Intent podcast. They're doing a live playthrough of Abomination Vaults. I've been uh, listening to those guys since day one, and I've 
been on their Discord, and every week when a new episode would hit, I would jump on there and let them know what rules they got wrong, because Pathfinder 2, there is a lot of rules. I'm going to be honest with you. There's a ton. But you don't need to know all of them. Please don't let that intimidate you. It's pretty easy to get the basics and just pick up more as you need them. But as they're doing an in-depth show that is broadcast, I wanted them to know that they but the proper way to do things. And around episode 36, I joined the show as the official rules lawyer. I'm there during every show now to answer any questions or help with any rules complications or mistakes that they might make. So it's a really great show and it's a fun time. So I do hope you will check it out. There is a link for them down below. One of the other things that I've really now started picking up is I've been running a lot of online games for people and just trying to get my world out there. I feel very passionate about this. And one of the things I really want to promote eventually is, you know, I would love to have stuffed animals for kids, uh, maybe even, you know, toys just to help get people, you know, back around the table and together again and, a little less electronics. I know role-playing games have moved way more into the electronic side with tablets to keep track of character sheets and all of that stuff. And it is good. Uh, don't get me wrong. I, I do it myself. But I also have printed character sheets, which I love. But uh, getting and sitting and playing around the table is just awesome. There is really nothing quite like it. So I just wanted to show you this first video and get myself out there and let you know what I'm about. So um, this has been Christian, your guide to Beast Foundry. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment telling us all about your adventures. And farewell, friends. Until next time.